Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do a video that I don't even know if is out on YouTube, but is there anything positive or good about the upcoming recession? Let's get started and talk about it. I always want to look for the silver lining and look for something positive rather than become depressed or sad about something and worrisome. So I'd like to look at some good things. I know recession basically is negative economic growth. We've had them throughout history and all different types. So I'm not going to get into all of that. But what are some positive things that could happen from the recession? And then I want to give my little take on it at the end. One positive thing is prices of things will be coming down, such as homes. So they could become more affordable. So that could be really positive. Also, there could be way more opportunities. No matter what the economy is like, there's a lot of opportunities out there. We just have to be creative and really do some research and think about it. There's a lot of opportunities. Even during the pandemic, I'll be honest, I was not feeling very hopeful, but I was amazed at how many people were starting thriving and successful businesses during that time. So there's a lot of opportunities and new opportunities that can be had, and that's really positive. Another good thing is many businesses out there will thrive during a recession. Example, sometimes a business such as a maintenance business may thrive. So maybe in you know a place that, say, fixes cars or something of that nature. And sometimes even businesses such as candy businesses and things like that thrive during recession because when people are, are during a recession, people might feel a little bit down. So maybe they want to go have a little something to look forward to. So they may buy a little candy or something that they can enjoy on the side. But some businesses actually thrive. So sometimes some businesses are for a time in the season and maybe, you know, for whatever reason, they're not thriving during a certain economy. But then other businesses will take over and do really well. That's why we always have to be teachable and be willing to change. And I know that's something I definitely need to work on. Many people will cut the overhead, um, whether it's in their own business or their own home. So people will start to take a look at their budget, we'll just say a personal budget, and say, you know what, my budget is $3,000 a month. Let me look and see what I'm spending. They'll do like a price audit and go through and go, oh, I didn't realize I was spending this much on entertainment, or I didn't realize I was spending this much on services I'm not even using. And then they start cutting the fluff. That's something else positive. People will start saving and budgeting and being better and wiser stewards of their money. That's something else good. This is my take on it, and this is what I'm going to leave you with. I think all of this stuff can be really fabulous, but many times people talk about preparing for the recession, but my idea is why not do something like this more often in our life, whether it's once a year, twice a year, go through our budget and do a price audit and start maybe cutting things that don't serve us any longer or looking for new opportunities, whether it's taking a class or learning new business skills, why not do this many times, even when the economy is thriving? It's always time to do this. And I know I've said this to you guys before. When is it time to look for a new job? When you've already got a job that you love having. It's always good to be prepared, no matter what economy. That's what I'm going to leave you with. I want to hear from you in the comments below. What are some positive things that can come out of a recession? That's all I have to say for now. I love you, I appreciate you, and I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.